Wow, I am live. Good morning, world. Good morning, God's people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I didn't know on um, Sunday when I was ministering that I would um, be allowed to share something today on Wednesday. You know, when I brought this um, ministry to IG, the instruction was to minister live twice a week, right? So um, as I was going on this um, spiritual journey on the 3rd of January for 14 days, I didn't know if I would be able to do this. And I remember saying on live on Sunday that if you see me here today on Wednesday, then it means that I have been um, given the permission to do this. So my name is Maria Banga and uh, my acronym is MAG. And so I'm Minister MAG. And um, this ministry, Love and Healing Ministry, is um, since 2019 in April that I received the word to start this ministry. Um, I think on the 19th of April. And I remember creating a Facebook page and I was excited. But at the same time, I was also a little scared, apprehensive, like, Oh, who am I now? You know, and there's already so much going on out there. And I didn't know that um, a year later, the pandemic will hit and um, people will lose so much hope and everything. And um, I just thought I was already doing so much, you know, like with Hope for the Abuse and the Battered um, Foundation organization um, as a therapist, as a as a what, as a barista, as an author, all of that. I thought that was enough, you know, so I, I, I didn't really think, oh, coming out like this, oh, God, you know, I I, I really sometimes say, I, I'm a female Jonas, you know, I didn't want to go to Nineveh. I was like, Father, but there are already so many other people there now. Why me? Uh, you know my story now. And I, I really love you. I really want you to take control of my life. But I don't want to be talking. Uh, well, Father, I'm, uh, but no, nope. you know, God has ways eh, to turn you around. Like you keep going that way. Something is going to bring you back this way. You do whatever. And you know this um, whole thing about seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It's not a joke. I'm 42 and I, I'm not going to start saying that I wish I had started that way because, well, wishes are horses. And um, I learned this morning from a, one beautiful um, or sermon or teaching by Jada Ed, Edwards. They have a church out there in the U.S. called One one church, one community church or one church community. I'm just learning a lot from all over the place, you know. Uh, but she was talking about the cure for contentment and saying that contentment is when you look at the past with no regrets, you think of the present with no doubt, and you look forward to the future with no fear. So I look at my past now with no regrets. But I have a story and... For the past uh, maybe three weeks or stuff since I started this ministry on IG Live, thank you so much. Just one person watching me, joining me live. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> um, I've been talking about my story and I've been talking about how um, God, through my story, has not given up on me even when I wanted to give up on myself and um, how I encourage people to own their story. To, to use their story, right, to show the goodness of God, the greatness of God, um, how their test became their testimony. And I have written books, and I'm like, okay, so it's my time like this, right, to use my... Because my ministry is actually to show how in my life, God has filled me up with so much love and giving me so much healing, and He continues to do that. And so if you just, you know, kind of like surrender to Him, that's something I wrote down, and I'm going to read it with reckless abandon, he will do the same for you. Because if he can do that for me, who am I? Why would he not do that for you? You don't have to be a... I was talking to my kids this morning during devotion and reading from the passage I'm going to share there to Isaiah 42, um, 6 and 7. And I'm like, he didn't, call to, he didn't come to call the righteous. He came to call people and then help them, you know, become righteous enough to continue doing what he wants them to do, all for his glory. And this is for those who believe it. I don't have any problem with people who are like, ah, that you God, that you think, that you ah. You know, there was a time when I was also going through my own night of the soul and 
having my own um, crisis of faith and everything. So, yeah, I didn't necessarily see eye to eye with Christians or, you know, fanatics or whoever and all of those things. I'm not really a religious person, but I'm a very spiritual person. I love God so much. And yes, I am a Christian and stuff, but my own way of worship and practice and all of that fellowshipping, it, it, it might be really unconventional to each their own. So I want to read um, something from this, my book. When I started this um, uh, 14 days on the 3rd of January, that's how it works for me. He just tells me things. He tells me things. That's why you need to be quiet. You need to go into, you need to stop talking. You need to get out from, you know, mainstream social media. You need to, so that you can pay attention. I'm also doing this um, abstinence with commitment journey, 365 days. I don't know what he has in store for me or what will happen after those 365 days, but I'm on day 36 and I'm enjoying my journey. And one of the instructions is to do daily videos, daily updates. And so I started a YouTube channel specifically for that called Mark and God. And I'm also sharing, you know, it on IG. So it's just been so beautiful. So he told me you're going to use two of your books for these 14 days. The first one is No More Playing Russian Roulette with God, My Journey from a Searching Soul to a Serene Soul. And the second book I'm to use is Battered, Tattered, But Not Shattered, Finding the Strength in What Remains. Those are books I wrote, you know. This one I published it um, in 2020. It's on the Amazon. And I received the word to write this book. I just saw the date today on the 3rd of, or the 9th of March, 2018. <laughs> oh. Are you? God and I. It's really supposed to be Mag and God. Okay, so um, what was that date? I think it's on the 9th of March that I received the word. Although I started writing the book March 2018. Yeah, um, he told me in March 2018, he gave me the topic, the title of the book, and said you will start writing it in 2019. And he even gave me the 12 chapters of the book. And I didn't even know what Rus roulette was, like Russian roulette until like seven months later when it was time to go and look, go and Google it and find out what it is. It is just so beautiful what God does. And um, I'm really now comfortable with using my story um, as a living testimony, hoping that um, it, it ties in with my purpose, which is to inspire, motivate people from all walks of life with my personal experiences. Yeah, uh, the date was really Saturday, the 3rd of March. 2018 barely two days into a long fast i was committing to undertaking as led by my spirit that was the day i got this title that long fast was a 70 days fast in in four stages seven days 14 days 21 days and 28 days with this break of three days each oh my goodness the instructions the everything but when I did that, because before I'd done three days, seven days, 21 days, 30 days, but when I did those 70 days, I knew that, no, 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 no. As long as I keep my eyes on God, nothing, nothing will shake me off until my time is up. Like what I went through those 70 days and what I got out of those 70 days. Oh, I, people are talking about the benefits of fasting. The benefits of fasting is not just talk, just try. Try even one day, two days, three days, seven days. Try, try, just try. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm reading from the preface of the book, you know, and um, each chapter of this book, each everything has a passage from the Bible. Like he was just giving me, you know, I'm not really somebody who is so reading Bible every day and remembering, memorizing all those memory verse and all of that. I don't even try to pretend that I can compete with, uh, you know, the likes of Sarah Jakes or T.D. Jakes and all those people and everything. No, 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 no. To each their own. Each is called to their own ministry and their own everything. But when he needs me to talk about something and I need a verse, he thinks that I need one, he gives it to me. So the preface is taken from um, Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, which is actually my memory verse, like, when I was in Belgium, as I've talked before, and he said, bring down that Bible, which I had put away for two, two years. And he said, open, I put on the light, open, I open, and I was three, verse five, verse six. And I started to cry, like, why had you not shown me this? Man, of course, I had read that passage 
a long time ago. But I kept searching. So that passage really kind of made me to stop searching. Because well, 3 verse 5 verse 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all their ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct their paths. So, I said, I didn't need to continue trying to understand all I could or trying to understand all, I could just surrender in reckless abandon with my typical stubborn but passionate faith. I know I have a stubborn but passionate faith. And remember in the process to always acknowledge him and then watch him direct my path. That hasn't been easy, you know. I've, I've, I've fumbled, I've fumbled and I... And uh, the last fumbling was in November, on the 21st of November, precisely when I had sex. And after that, I, I felt so convicted, so terrible. I was like... Papa, I'm tired. Papa, I'm tired. And, and he said, can you give me 12 months of your body? I, I, I was like, yes, Papa, yes, Papa, yes, Papa. So I'm like, I have done this um, abstinence journey twice. But um, the first time, I don't know for how long I went before backsliding. But the second time, I went for five months. So, But I know that this time, I'm going for all these 365 days. Why? Because I'm doing it public, so I'm holding myself publicly accountable. And I know exactly why I am doing it and the promise and, and the everything. And I'm just so, so, so into God now. You know, the first two times, it wasn't really so much for that. It was more of a like... Well, until I meet some serious person. But this time around, no. Either I have a husband or I'm just completely into my ministry and I don't want no sex anymore and no foolish relationship in my life anymore. And you know, well, sometimes uh, to do what God has really called you to do. And if you want to, to really continue enjoying that love and healing from that obedience, then you better have to give up something. And you have to give up what is not serving God? What is not honoring God? And the theme for my year 2022 is honor God. So, nope, anything that does not honor God, get behind me, Satan. I have no problem cutting off people, you know. In short, I ditched my vibrator. I bought a vibrator. I used it once last year. I threw it very far away. I removed all kind of music from my phone that can make me to start, you know, having catching feelings and stuff like that. I block people like... Even if you had just said hi to me and stuff, you're pretty, you're beautiful and everything, I block. All those old boyfriends I was still keeping in contact with or once in a while, hello, hi, I block. No explanation, I just block. Even going out, hanging around, I said, I've had enough. I have danced until I can dance no more crazy in the nightclub and everywhere. So I'm no more dancing that crazy. I'm dancing for Je I'm radical for Jesus now. Like I love the Bible. I love the message I get. There. I love the serenity I get from that. And so it's really something so personal. And um, when you find something as lovely as that, nobody needs to convince you. You know, like, ah, oh, come to church, do this, do that, do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. It is personal. It is so personal that um, it's been a journey of relinquishing a little bit more of me in exchange for so much more of him, of Jesus, of God. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that I was going to learn new things from this book. You know, when he said you use it again, I was like, ah, oh, but I used this book last in, in May 2021 when I was doing these 21 days with this amazing couple, you know, out there. I used the book. I have highlighted it so much. What am I learning from the book again? Are you bargaining with me? No, Papa, no, Papa, no, Papa, no, Papa. So I'm not even into two chapters in the book. I'm already using red pen because. I have to distinguish from what I underlined last year. Last year I used blue pen. So this year let me use red pen and I write the dates on it. If you see my book, eh? ha, I've written inside on see my own book. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so uh -huh, as I say in my title, um, my story has changed and um, I have been called. I have put my hand on the plow. I'm not looking back. There's so much love and healing in walking in obedience. And, you know, there's a time for everything. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 4 tells us that there's a time for everything. I'm just going to read from um, verse 1 to 3, I think. So that's where I ended today. There's a time for everything and a reason for every activity under the heavens. There's a reason for me talking on IG. There's a reason for me having this YouTube channel. There's a reason for me, 
you know, having this ministry, there's a reason. I mustn't know the reason right away, but I just walk in obedience. Okay, so there's a time to be born and there's a time to die. You know, sometimes people are like, eh, but if you believe in God, why are you falling sick? If you believe in God, why are you dying? Uh -huh. That is it in the Bible. There's a time to die. Everybody will die. Whether you like it or not, you will die. So there's nothing like, I don't know. I don't like to talk about, eh, I will not die. I will live to tell of the goodness of the Lord. No, I will die. But while I am alive, I will tell of the goodness of the Lord. And even if I'm sick of cancer of anything and there's no miracle cure, I will still praise God. I will still say, Papa, thank you for my life. Thank you for the experiences. Thank you even for the testimony I can be giving while being on this bed, sick. I, I once had rheumatoid arthritis. I went to the hospital. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I think in 2019 or in 2018, after all this journey, I went back to the hospital and they did, they did all of those tests. I was actually feeling good. No more limping, no more all of that. I didn't have. You know, that's my miracle. And every day I'm grateful. I live with post-traumatic stress disorder, but I don't struggle. I'm not on medication and all of those things. I do have my moments, but I know where to go to. I know what to do. I'm just so grateful for me. Okay, so there's a time to be born and there's a time to die. A time to a time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. Hallelujah. So this is my time, my season, as people say. Huh? It's my time to heal. It's my time to plant. Plant where? In God's vineyard. I'm just so grateful. So, so grateful. I had taken so many risks in my life. I could just be likened to a roulette the way I was living. But um, God reassures me in Proverbs 3 verse 13 that happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So what you are finding, you would seek. What you seek, you would find. What you, uh, the door you knock on will be open to you. You know, ask and you shall be given. And I wrap up with um, what I shared with the kids this morning. I am the Lord, Isaiah 42, verse 6 and 7. I'm getting better to remember the passages and the verses and the everything. So if you ever listen to me someday and I fumble, just bear with me. You know me, I'm human. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. It's not that he's calling righteous people. He's calling you and you're going to walk in righteousness because you can never get it 100% right. I will take you by the hand and keep you. That is why he has to take you by the hand and keep you. So even if you don't feel, hang on there, call on his name. Papa, you promised me, oh, I will give you as a covenant for the people. Papa, I'm ready. I've written two books where I wrote, I am ready. And recently I said, I am really ready, ready, ready. So there's no turning back for Mark. Because he will give me as a covenant for the people, a light for the nations. And you don't light the lamp and put it under the table. Even if you put it there, it will still shine. So the best thing to do is put it on top of your table, right? Okay. To open the eyes that are blind doesn't mean that like that. But it means that you are seen and you are not seen, you know. Yeah, I prefer to enjoy. Like I used to say, ah, I have only one life to live now. I will still die. So, ah, leave me alone with that thing. Ah, okay, good. That's when I was blind. But now I can see. And I hope that my ministration will help many more people see that it's not worth it. It's really more VIP to start by seeking the kingdom. But somewhere raised in the church, somewhere pastors, kids and stuff. Me? No. So I'm proud. I'm an 11 hour worker, but so what? I'm still going to get the same wages. Amen. To bring out the prisoners from the dungeon. 
from the prison, those who sit in darkness. So you see, the prison is not only the dungeon prison, the physical prison, but also those who seek in darkness, those who don't think that they're missing out. Those who think that those of us who talk about God and Jesus and who really try our best to live in righteousness and all of that thing, there's something wrong with us. Some of us are going to be called and have been called. Some of us will continue being called, you know, to go into the vineyard and do different things. After all, the harvest is so much, but the laborers are few. So whoever watches this video later, you know, just like me, your story can change or it has already changed and you are called, but you are not so sure because you are scared and uh, who am I and everything. Me, I had all of those thoughts and everything, but I'm like, no, no, no. I don't need anybody's permission, you know, to start talking, to go on IG live, to do that. The same God that I used to say, ah, oh, spare me without God. It's the same God I'm now saying, hey, since 2015, I started to seek him. He's telling me in 2022, you are my beloved. I am proud of you and you will keep doing what you do. You will keep talking now and talking more and more for me. And uh, my grace is sufficient for you. So please do not be discouraged. Don't bother whether you have one person joining you live on IG or nobody joining you. Whether you have, I have what, 10 subscribers on the YouTube channel. On another channel, I have 160 subscribers. It's taking me like a year. I don't have any problem with that. On my blog, I have 1,000 followers. I've been blogging since 2013. I don't compete with anybody. I don't compare. I don't do all of that. Like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 thousand K, million K. That's not for me. That's not my ministry. That doesn't appeal to me. So maybe it's not also going to work out for you easily and stuff like that. Don't give up. You're doing this for God. You're not doing this for human beings. So... What's the big deal? Me, I'm just my assignment, working in obedience, sharing. So see you on Sunday for ministration by grace. You know, life is so fleeting. We cannot just be talking like we are so sure that we are going to see tomorrow at the end of the day and stuff like that. But if by grace Sunday meets me here, yeah, then I'm going to minister whatever comes to my heart and my mind and my spirit. And um, until then, I will keep sharing my daily short snippets and vlogs. And um, if you go on YouTube, you find Mag and God, the channel. You can get the full vlogs there. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. That's just all I can say. And yeah, I'm looking for this song which I wrote. If I don't find it, I'll write it again. He changed my story. His name is Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. He changed my story. God bless us all.